Yeah. Great. Thank you, Jim. Hi, my name is Jim Bush, and I'm a, 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 a IBM employee at uh, IBM Research. Mm -hmm. And t today I'm, I'm going to be presenting about uh, how to use prompt engineering with uh, the Watson AI on, uh, uh, on the IBM Cloud. Um, together with uh, Kelly is going to help me out. So the hardest part about this workshop is, is created by a, a colleague of mine that unfortunately injured himself, Raphael. He, he wrote this workshop and he uh, got it accepted to DevConf. He was really excited to be able to come out here. And he tore his Achilles heel a couple weeks ago. So he's not able to be here, but, but uh, um, he's created a really good workshop. And um, I'm uh, happy to be able to share it with you. Um, so again, with this workshop, my idea is that, and, and Raphael's idea was to spend about 20 or 25 minutes going through the workshop, just showing you what it can do, um, how you can uh, uh, use prompt engineering to improve the, the uh, performance of the large language models. Um, but then at the end, we're hoping that you can spend the next 30 or 40 minutes on your own, on your own laptops to, to play with it yourself. And he, he's put together 10 or, 10 or 11 uh, exercises where you can, you can play, play with it and, and try it on your own. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into the lab here. And again, his, his lab is um, to start off the, the, you know, his Watson X Prompt Lab. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, connect up to Watson AI. And uh, you can click, if you're on the pre-work page, click on Watson AI and you, you can log in. Or if you, again, if you don't have an ID already, you can, can uh, sign up for a trial and then get in. Um, and so for me, I've signed into the, the Prompt Lab. So I'm, I'm there now, and this is what it, it looks like. The, the first page of it is a chat, so this is very similar to ChatGPT. Um, the one difference that, that we have with the, the Watson X um, uh, chat is that we have the capability of, of changing the models. So this one is, by default, it's using the open source uh, model, the Granite uh, uh, chat uh, version 2 model. It's uh, 13 billion uh, tokens with it, but uh, we can, go in and we can change the different um, foundation models. You, there's a bunch of different ones you can use. So depending on your use case, you can try these. You know, smaller ones tend to uh, respond faster, uh, sometimes cheaper to use and, and, and run. Larger ones, uh, you know, if you have a general use case, larger ones usually are more satisfactory for, for uh, more general questions. Um, so we'll go over to his lab. We start with Freeform. And the free form, the, the, the chat, uh, I'll show you a little later about the chat. But the free form is, is, is a, a more basic, um, there's not a lot done for you in free form. So this is uh, where you can, you can really play with, with, the, uh, you know, with the labs. So we're going to go to back to agenda here. Um, and lab one is uh, LLM foundations. So um, we're on that, uh, the free form page. And uh, we can start with, uh, uh, you know, talking about the tokens. So uh, when, when we run this, um, any type of query, um, we have uh, minimum and maximum number of tokens. So like ChatGPT, you don't really worry about tokens. You just ask your question and, and it responds. In this Freeform lab, uh, it defaults to 200 tokens. Oh, is it, yeah. it echoing? Maybe up here? No. Or is that a light? The other mics I have here are on. Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. Can you hear me? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, is the mic that's on the podium right now? No, you might have it. I'm not sure if that's Oh, it is, it is on. Yeah. Okay, it's off. Okay. Great. Thank you. So you have, you have the capability of. of uh, changing the number of tokens. And um, that's where it's going to stop. So essentially, you, this limits it so you don't spend too much resources and too much time on your, on, uh, your, your questions and responses. Um, so the first example is text completion is everything. He, he has a, a model. He's using the Flan model. And he's got to give us ideas of how to start a coffee business. So we can change this to Flan. Make sure it's the, re the same one, 20 billion, and give us ideas to start a coffee business. So, so 
So this is just a quick um, question. And the response is pretty unsatisfactory. It's just a, to start a coffee shop. So what's, what's interesting about this is it's with this prompt, it's, it can respond very differently if you do things uh, slightly different. So I'm going to make give with a lowercase. And you'll see the response. Oh, it, it did the same coffee shop. Before, it was, it was responding with a different, different uh, response. But I'm going to make it back to. Um, but not, not a very helpful uh, uh, res response from the, from the LLM. So uh, one, one thing you can do then is start to queue the, the, the output. So you know, we, the, the AI doesn't know what we want from our question. So uh, just one small change is if we give it a, a queue. So like we, we want a numbered list of how to start a coffee, coffee shop. Um, that's not what it's supposed to do, of course. <laughs> nice. Well, it's, 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 again, not, not very, oh, here we go. Coffee shop. A coffee shop is a place where people can buy coffee and other drinks. So not super helpful so far. Um, um, it, sh it should have done, uh, what we were expecting was, it should have been a list, start coffee, start roasting coffee, start a business, um, uh, start with a coffee shop. So but it's a little better response, but still not, not great. So now we can do a, a one-shot prompting, where, is, again, the AI doesn't know what, what we're expecting, what, what we want from it. But if we give it an example of, of uh, a good answer and then give it a question of, of what, you know, our, our question, then it has an idea of what, we, what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and give it this, this nice, you know, a prompt of, of what we expected, and then give me an idea of coffee businesses. And it should be a, a better uh, response now. So find a location, hire a barista, advertise your business. So the, the prompt is, is getting better. The answers are getting better as we, as we give it more intelligent uh, prompt engineering. Um, now we uh, can give it uh, more descriptive details. So. Give me three ideas to start our own successful coffee shop business. So again, we're, we're doing the one shot exam good example, but a little more descriptive on our, our question. Um, uh, find a location, the century located, offer a variety of coffee drinks, offer a wide, wide variety of food. So we're getting, you know, we're, this is much better uh, Responses in our first question where we're just asking, it was responding just with coffee shop itself. So it's slowly getting better. Um, and then we can start messing with the, the models and parameters. So um, one, we talked about the min and max tokens already. This is uh, essentially a token is, is not quite a word. It's usually about four characters in length, but uh, it, it can, can be considered almost a word. But it's how, how long the response would be uh, uh, and you can say, you know, minimum, like I want a minimum response, a maximum response. Um, you can specify stop sequences. So uh, here's a, he's switching to the granite um, a model. So one thing interesting about the granite model, if we run this, oops, we'll clear the output, switch to the granite uh, model, and just by default we'll get, because uh, it's it, there's there's more in this this, Large language model, we'll get a better, better response from it. So just same question, but but and same examples, but you know using a different model get, gets a much nicer result. Um, but uh, in here we can uh, change the stop sequence, and let me do that here to clear it, and then the stop sequence we can do uh, two enters and generate, and so now it's gonna run until it, it, it ends up with a, uh, well, it looks the same, the, the, the stop sequence. And then, the, and I, I bet you if it changes the tokens too. You can see, no, it looks like he has the same 200 tokens. Um, so decoding parameters, uh, if you notice on, on the answers, we're probably getting some repetitive uh, 
responses. So we can change from uh, greedy to sampling. And so the, the sampling mode, greedy is, it's, it's essentially it's, it's defaulting with the, the, the first things, the, the most likely answers that thing it, it would have. But if we want to go with sampling, it gives uh, more random responses. Um, and we can change the temperatures and the, you know, the, the randomness, the, 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 the penalty of uh, uh, re repetition. So if we end up with a prompt that is responding with, with sometimes all the same, same answers, we can uh, you know, change the reputation pen penalty so it, it won't uh, um, repeat as often. Um, so here's one. List ideas to advertise my own successful coffee shop business. And we've got the repetition penalty pretty high here. And so we should not have any repetition here. Savor the flavors of success. Emphasize your unique menu. Um, they can pique their interest about what they're missing. So again, it's, it's, it's gotten a little more wild because we're on the sampling now. So the answer is a little more creative. And then we have no repetition in the answer at all. Um, you can try temperature. If the text is still repetitive, you can add temperature and repetition penalty. If we done that already. And then um, we, he has uh, a, a, a additional uh, reading about the parameters and decoding. So you can learn more about uh, the different options you have with that. Um, general tips, uh, remember to try different models. So as, as we saw, the granite model had a much more uh, creative and much more uh, expansive result than the Flan model does. So you can play you know, the, with the, uh, the Watson AI here. You can all kinds of models that you can try. And some work better for coding, some work better for uh, you know, general questions, some work better for uh, you know, your, your different use cases. Um, understand your use case and balance uh, intelligence and security. Um, essentially simpler models uh, present, a, 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 they're harder for hackers to, to, to mess with. So um, he's suggesting you know, a really big model, you know, uh, has a lot more in it. It has, you know, you don't necessarily know everything that's in, in these large models. So a l larger model might have a, a less of a, a surface for somebody to mess and do something uh, harmful with it. Um, then we have further learning. If you want to do uh, uh, Watson AI and uh, tips for writing uh, model prompts. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the uh, end of here. And then uh, we have... Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of uh, uh, retrieval augmented generation, but there's another, another method of prompt engineering. And what you can do with the, the uh, large language model RAG is uh, what, what, we, what we were doing in the, the, the first lab was essentially adding the, the, uh, to the prompt. You know, we did the one shot uh, um, where we, we give an example of a, a, how to start a lemonade business. And then with the... Um, and then we ask it a question, how do we start a coffee business? And it, and it uses that. Um, what you can do with RAG is if, if you have uh, a document. So, so the large language model maybe doesn't have anything current about your business or your, your business case. Um, it has general knowledge. But you, you need uh, specific answers for what are the hours of your business, you know, what, what is, you know, uh, how to use your particular software. Maybe there's questions about how you stop or start you know, uh, something in your, in your uh, application. The, you know, the large language model wouldn't know your application, wouldn't know your, your uh, specific uh, answers. Um, so, so you can add uh, it, it, that document into, your, uh, um, into the chat here. So I'll show you that. And um, to do that, you go to the, the ch chat here. And on the upper right, there's uh, grounding with documents. And you can select and create a vector index. And um, I have one already. This is a GitHub issue. It's like an example GitHub issue. But if you do a new one, you can just browse and pull in a document. So it can take uh, you know, power PowerPoint documents up to 300 megabytes. It can take PDFs up to 50 megabytes. Um, docx files, 10 megabytes. Or a text file is 5 megabytes. Um, you can also uh, import from data sources. So. Um, you know, you know where your where your documents, where your files are, so I can add those in. So I, I've added my my issue in already. So go ahead and just select it, 
So now you'll see in the, on the bottom, we essentially have this, right now it's using the granite uh, model, but it's now appended this document here. So now, pr prior to any answering any question, uh, you know, with the answer, it's going to first look at this document, then it'll use the knowledge from the large language model. So this one, again, is a, is a GitHub uh, uh, example. So we can ask it, uh, you know, please summarize the issue. And uh, the large language model knows all about GitHub, but the document that we've just added knows about this particular issue here. So essentially this uh, issue titled, you know, online uh, mode 36112 was opened by a particular person and essentially we have a summary of, of, of the issues that exist. Um, it also, one thing nice about this is that it, it shows you what the sources are. So for, for this issue, it's getting the answer for the summary from pages 1, 11, and 12 of this document. Um, and then one other thing I'm going to show you here with this is when you're doing the general chat versus the free form, free, free form is, is pretty, pretty crude to start out with. Um, the chat is more like what you're used to with the chat GPT or, or other AI tools. Um, what's hidden in, the, in this is the, um, it, its tokens are much larger. I think it's uh, like 800 tokens is the, the minimum tokens or, or, or the maximum tokens to start instead of 200. So you'll generally get a lot of uh, um, response from the, you know, in text uh, generated from, from the general chat. But it also has uh, instructions that essentially you could have done this or we could have done this in our free form as well. Um, it's essentially specific instructions to the Watson AI. So the instructions for this one are, you are a granite chat, an AI model developed by IBM. You're a cautious assistant. So you know, don't be too cocky. Don't, don't be too uh, optimistic. You you're carefully follow instructions. You're helpful and harmless. And you follow the ethical guidelines and promote positive behavior. So essentially, we're trying to tell the AI, you know, don't be a smart, smart aleck. Don't, don't, don't get, get too crazy. You always respond to greetings. Uh, uh, good morning, good day, good night, what's up? With hello, I'm a granite chat created by IBM. How can I help you today? Please do not say anything else and do not start a conversation. So we, we don't want the, the chat to become human on us. And, and you know, we, we just want it to be answering questions politely. But you can clearly change this if you want. If you want a, a smart aleck or a, a kind of a, a bitter uh, AI, you can have that. If you want a pirate one, you can, you can change it. Um, so you, you can control this as, as, you know, when you're doing your labs here. Um, so that's, that's it from the demo perspective. Um, we have now, uh, so the pre-work, you know, to get on if you want, you know, want to log into the IBM ID and, and get to this interface. Um, the basics, you know, I've covered. Going further with RAG, I've, I've covered. So then the lab three is where you can actually go through and and try these things. So we've got, I think, 11 total um, uh, uh, exercises you can do. And one thing nice about this, you know, he, he uh, shows, you know, what, what the examples are that you can use, um, some suggestions. So this is, uh, um, he's going to example about puppies, and then he's going to example about kittens. And then he, on each of these exercises, he shows, you know, what he ends up getting as far as the results. So you can try yourself and see if you get the same results. And you can mess around and, and tr try different things. Like this is, this one here, he's got the flan model. Again, you kind of saw that it's not the most verbose, not, doesn't have the most uh, uh, interesting, perhaps, uh, uh, data in it. But the same you know, question, the same exercise with, with the granite might be very different. And going to show you we got um, you know the, the models that are capable for for the Watson AI it's 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 a big list of models but some of these are, are pretty big ones so like the llama 70b if, if you have a general use case you're you're not sure exactly you know what you're gonna be doing with it and you just want to play around you can try it you know one of the big big models and this will probably have the most verbose most general answers that you could ask for um, if you click on them, it'll tell you in detail, you know, what it's, 
you know, what it's made out of, what it, you know, this is from the llama, two, and, uh, you know, what its intended use is. So for each of these, these models, you can get more information of where it came from, uh, you know, what it's made out of, and, and what's the best use case. So uh, there's an opportunity now for you to, to sign on. And so Kelly and I will, will walk around and, you know, if somebody is stuck or has a question or if you want me to show it up on the screen, I can try it on the screen as well as if somebody's stuck. But um, this is your opportunity now to, to, to play with it. Are there any questions before we start? Yeah, let's go. Sure. The, the, the URL for the, the, the sign on? You work, so if you can get, it's hard to read. Let, let me uh, pull it back up here, and th that's probably hard to read too. Let me, let me make it larger. text. Oh, there it is. Sure. Be too large. You think white uh, be better and okay, 36. How's that? Right, and we'll set up the Watson. Uh, which we'll sign up for the. So the first one's the lab, and the second one is the um, to actually sign on. But, you know, do we have bias in our models, or do we, do we have uh, a way to, to uh, ensure that the model's not responding with with uh, um, you know, racial bias or bad language or, or uh, abuse? And I forgot to mention that by default, that the AI guardrails we we, we have in our chat, uh, you know, guardrails here, and essentially it. Uh, uh, set guardrails rails on to remove potentially harmful input and output text such as hate speech, abuse, or profanity. So by default, that's on. So you, know, you can play with this if you want, but uh, you can turn the guardrails off. It gets a little, like, you know, little yellow warning light on it. But then it, at that point, you know, without the guardrails, you might get uh, some bias. You might get some, some, some language that, that would be unexpected in a business environment, but so something to keep in mind. But by default, it's usually on. I, you know, to be honest, I don't know. I have a, a, a colleague that, do you know how it works? Oh, you, sure. She's uh, asked uh, who's responsible for is it generating that code, or yeah, is that yeah? Who who's responsible for coming up with the guardrails? Um, yeah. So we have a separate. So we, we basically have smaller language models running in a separate microservice that are specifically trained 
on recognizing profanity and what have you and thing unsavory things. So yeah, that 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 model inspects it on the way in and the way out. Yeah. I Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So she's asking who makes the the um decision or who's responsible for those small models that inspect it. I am not a I am pretty sure I we we train those ourselves. Yeah, I am 99% sure. 